Well, here's an interesting fact. The word hooch <laughs> refers to illegal moonshine. I had no idea. I didn't either. And <laughs> one small town with a similar name here in Oklahoma was once known as the moonshine capital of Oklahoma. But as Galen Culver reports, that town now has a legal distillery. Along the banks of the original Mountain Fork River, in narrow canyons and thick tree cover, illegal moonshiners took advantage of good water and back roads for more than a century. The history of this goes back several generations. Mitchell McDaniel grew up north of Old Hocha Town, which now sits at the bottom of Broken Bow Lake, and grew up on those wild stories of the not too distant past. It was pretty familiar territory to us. He even carries a piece of it in the form of the old Jones family still when he pours an ice aged bourbon of his own. This is a bourbon drinker's bourbon and, and match based on flavor profile. The McDaniel brothers started the Hochitown Distillery completely above board back in 2015. It took months of experimenting to get just the right blends of barley, rye, corn, and yeast, but they wanted their bourbon to be all theirs. We wanted to uh, have a product that was completely made here on site and be a true Oklahoma made bourbon. This is our 200 gallon. Uh, Pot still, it's a hybrid still. There are reasons Hochitown had such a good reputation for distilling. Pure water, low in iron, top the list. Mitchell, a former chemist, also tells us the climate is perfect for aging in barrels. Very sweet smell, sweet taste. All of our bourbons are somewhere in the three and a half to four year old range and uh, have all spent four summers in the barrel. A local gentleman we met, Charlie Benton, who claims to be quite familiar with the local outlaw hooch of the past. I've been around some moonshiners. I certainly have. Insists the McDaniels are doing it right. Oh, awesome. This is our uh, barrel barn. It took a while for those first barrels to be ready, but the McDaniels grew fast from there. They have a craft brewery in New Hochitown now, a gift shop, t-shirts. They are a tourist destination with an extra kick. We have very positive feedback. Yep, we're going to sign this barrel. Mark your calendars for December of 2024, too. That's when this barrel of bourbon will be ready to roll out. Better with age, no doubt. Signed, sealed, and delivered in the perfect Oklahoma spot. In Hochitown, Galen Culver, News 4. Is this a great state or what? Well, Galen made a promise to the McDaniel brothers. He will.